they gear for February 1, and let's say it's a late year. They show up and we don't have bloom until February 20th. Well, it, that brood will die. You know, they, they just can't keep that momentum going because there's no feed, and so either the beekeeper has to pump a lot of sugar syrup, sugar syrup on them, or, you know, their hives dwindle. I've cover crop something for the last 25, 30 years. Being an almond grower, I understand the life cycle of a bee. It helps me understand their situation when it comes to pollinating my trees. I think the less they move these bees, the better. So that's why I like my beekeepers have loved the fact that they can just leave the bees here. And I like it. I like the colors. I like the flowers. And understanding how that life cycle of that hive has to build brood and and, and then feed and then feed that brood, you know, and it takes pollen to feed the brood. It doesn't take syrup. And so the syrup they're putting, that's why a lot of the good beekeepers are putting pollen patties on. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get the, that, that brood started so when the almond bloom starts, they've already got bloom, brood going and the queen starts really laying crazy because all of a sudden there's a, there's a, there's a, a flow of pollen. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if, if we can put a, a cover crop out there like mustard that has the pollen early, that queen will start laying because she'll see a flow coming in of, of pollen. Right. And she'll start laying laying eggs, and then you know it's a 21 day turnover. From the date the lay, egg is laid, it's 21 days. You now have a worker, and it just it takes very little time for you know within seven days they've got to start feeding that larva. And then by the time almond blooms, you have more bees to pollinate your crop. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So 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 the more you can help the beekeeper build his hives early, you know the better it is for.